It's a difficult assignment to pinpoint one reason why Johnson Central High is this week's cool school. But you can start with the students. We study a lot. We have to research a lot, but we have fun too. Samantha Shelton is talking about the school's future problem solving team, arguably the most successful in the world. We're the only school to have three international problem solving cha championships. And in the entire world? In the entire world, yes. Um, that's like Korea and Singapore and Australia, New Zealand. And here's the hardware to prove it. You could be asked to find the derivative of a simple function. Sean Butcher is on another of the academic teams, so we put his knowledge to the test. What is the sum of all possible rational roots? Zero. What two bodies of water are connected by the Erie Canal? The Hudson River and Lake Erie. 64 pi square meters. Dualism. Brutus. Potential kinetic. Marsupials. Can the coordinates of the other endpoint? Negative six for five. I don't know. So we got we got what one wrong? Got one wrong. That's pretty good. He ne he wouldn't miss that in a match though because he had paper. paper right. But he'd get it in three seconds. <laughs> Aside from exceptionally smart students, Johnson Central also boasts eleven computer labs in all, including this classroom full of brand new iMacs. Hi, I'm Mac and I'm PC. So uh, PC, uh, I've noticed you hanging out in my lab a lot. What's going on? I'm lonely. What else am I supposed to do? Everybody's using Macs here at Johnson Central. Well, sorry about your luck, but uh, they love me here. Rub it in. In this case, bringing a little comedy to computer class, but on a serious note, the school has spent a pretty penny upgrading to the latest high-tech gadgets. 21st century technology is of huge importance here at Johnson Central High School. In fact, every classroom in the entire building has a 50-inch plasma TV for much more than just watching movies. For instance, it's a valuable tool in this pre-engineering class, a course most students couldn't take until college. But perhaps the coolest thing about Johnson Central is its commitment to both academics and athletics. Long gone are the days of muddy uniforms after home games thanks to this brand new artificial turf. We feel like we have the most beautiful football field. Um, high school field in the nation. The people that put this field in said that there was only one field they thought it was as nice and that was Indianapolis Colts field. The new complex serves many purposes four different football teams, men's and women's soccer and also track. Not only is it beautiful, it's useful and you know it just shows that our people here are committed uh, to the kids, to the youth of Johnson County. The $4 million project includes the field, visitor seating, a new baseball complex, and a track. Add another $2 million renovation to the building that houses this swimming pool, being used here for conditioning for men's basketball. So whether it's on the field or in the classroom, students have a lot to take advantage of at this pretty cool school. Michael Wooten, WSAZ News Channel 3, Paintsville.